In this episode, we're going to be building a power reactor from the power mod. Unlimited power mod. Okay, my problem is that my applied energistic storage system turns off when the sun goes down. And that can't be happening anymore. See, look, it's nighttime and it shut off. I cannot figure out why the battery that I made doesn't actually store power. I don't know if I'm not getting enough power into the system or if I have a defective battery, this dense energy cell. I want to create a little bit more power so that I can have power like all night long. And so what I need to do is create um, some different things with the power mod to try to get it so that it's going to, um, you know, power up a little bit better. So what I need to do is create this thing called an energizing orb and an energizing rod and hook these up and somehow the the rod will energize the orb or something because basically what we, we need to do with the power mod is we need to create um some materials to upgrade these like solar panels or the thermal generators and whatnot to a higher tier and generate more power that way so uh, but first we have to make um, a little setup with these energizing rods and stuff. And I already made a blazing energizing rod and an energizing orb. Now I just need to upgrade my thermal generator because I can upgrade it one time before I need the extra um, items that I have to make with this energizer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think, I think we're ready to do it. Um, I just need these power plates. Okay, I got something to work. This thing... It's working. I had to manually put water in it. I've made some energized steel because all you have to do, and I think it's because I have shaders on that I can't see the animation here, but there's supposed to be an animation when you do this. So basically if I put in one of those and one of those, it turns it into an energized steel. Yeah, I disabled my shaders. Let's see if this... Oh, you can kind of see a little tiny line. I made 64, so I made 84 energized steel by energizing them with this thing. I tried again to find another way to connect these using some ME uh, applied energistics stuff, and it, it didn't work. So anyways, I'll have to keep working on that. But to do the blazing type, we have to do blaze rods. So here we go with that. Oh, uh, you right click it. That's right. There we go. Alrighty. Okay. I'll be at this a while. Well, the adventures of Mr. Blockhead. I tried to um, upgrade the thermo generator. And when I... I needed a thermo generator to make the next level up. So I broke this one to level it up. And it fell in the lava. <laughs> Ooh, I now have a blazing thermo generator. <laughs> See if I can not melt this one in the lava. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now it's working a little faster. Okay. I think I can put water in here. Get it going. There we go. I wish that I could hook up this stupid sink, but I need some extra stuff to do that. I'm just going to fill it full of water for now. Let's see. Yep, it's going faster. Excellent. Another thing we can do is take in these crystals now that I have enough and craft a blazing block or blazing crystal block, I think. Yeah. So it's called a block or block of blazing crystal. Sorry, my mistake. Um... Yeah, so now I just need to get rid of that lava underneath here. So if I get rid of this lava under here, that will ensure that when I break that thing again, it won't happen. But what this blazing crystal does is it's going to make this thing work way better. So it's at 280% efficiency. So that's given me a lot more output and probably using less water. That may not be true. That may or may not be true. There we are. Okay, so we're just going to keep plugging away on these things until I get a bunch of these. And then that will allow me to make higher tier stuff. 
All right, next to make niotic crystals, which is the next tier up, I have to use diamonds and energize these things. So, here we go. Oh, and there's one. All right. Oh, it tells me how fast it's doing it. That's kind of cool. Gives me like a status. Next, we're upgrading our energizing rod to niotic. And that should give us some greater uh, speed, I guess, or ability to make even higher tier stuff. So it's really zapping it now. I don't know if it's any faster or not. The next power level is the next power level is called Spirited, and to do Spirited, we need to do emeralds. Here we go. We're going forward, I think. Well, shall we? Oh, where'd my, what the, how in the, who the, evidently I forgot a step. I, <laughs> I left my thermal generator in the crafting thing because I needed to upgrade it still. So well, let's go ahead and just upgrade that, shall we? Okay, there we go. Now we have the niotic generator and we're ready to do... Should we do the next power level, or should we just craft up some of this niotic stuff? Oh, uh, let's do the niotic stuff first, and then we'll do the emeralds. Alrighty, we've got 51 niotic crystals. I'm going to put those back. Well, I can't because I need to hook this thing into my uh, storage deal soon. I'm not quite ready to do it yet. However, the next thing we need to do is the emerald one, so we can get this to a spirited. Then there's one more level after that called... Uh, I forgot. All right, I used those crystals to upgrade our energy... Energizing rod is what it's called. Whatever that thing is, it's now upgraded. We are now fully upgraded to spirited. Ooh, the last one is nitro. I found out the name. All right, to make the nitro crystals, it's quite a thing. You need another star, two blocks of redstone, and a block of blazing crystal. And a million <laughs> forge or fabric energy or whatever. This is gonna take a little while, but that's all right, because it's gonna make me 16 of them actually. So that's, that's pretty good. Man, this really takes a while. <laughs> I'm glad it makes 16 of them. Ooh, we're at 67%, 80%. 99%! <laughs> this is a moment worth waiting for. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I better get my 16. If it's only one of them, I'm going to be disappointed. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. I was a little worried there when I looked at it. We now have a max level nitro energizing rod. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. Oh, you know what I just realized? If I don't upgrade this cable then I might not be actually getting the most out of my rod thing. I didn't even think about that. Okay, I upgraded the cable to nitro because I need to have more spirited crystals before I can upgrade the cable and this thing. Or not, I need more nitro crystals before I can upgrade this stuff. So um, let's see, maybe this might go a little bit faster now. Maybe. Holy cow, that's so much faster. It's already at 52%. I've decided that my ultimate goal with this power mod is to make a nitro reactor. So this is a thermal generator and it puts out, this one puts out 112 Fe. I think the nitro reactor puts out something like 80,000. Uh, my mistake, it's 20,000, 20,000 per tick, uh, 80,000 max. So I had the 80,000 right, just the wrong number. So it's, there's like a maximum amount that it will produce and then like a general amount that it will produce. And then, uh, yeah. So anyways, the reactor, having a nitro reactor is like totally way overkill for what my current needs are. But what I kind of want to do is just get the thing built and be done with the power problem uh, altogether so that I'd never have to worry about power again, which is probably what that nitro reactor will do. Um, if I do ever have to build another nitro reactor, I will have probably a lot of stuff. So <laughs> it's, 
it'll be a long time before I have to make it. Uh, the nitro, the re- the reactors, the nitro, and all the other ones um, are a thirty-six block multi-block, and every time I craft them, I get four blocks. So basically, I'm gonna have to do nine craftings of each um, power level or whatever to get this thing to work. So yeah, so that's that's a lot of crafting, a lot of work. But I think it's going to be worth it in the end because then I won't ever have to like return to the whole power crafting thing uh, for a very long time and it'll be done. Okay, we now have a nitro thermo reactor. I'm going to plop it right there and then that's going to hook it into our ME system and power that. I'm also going to take this sink and put it over here. And I still don't have the pipe yet for it. So for now, what I'm going to do is just fill this puppy full of water from the sink like this. And we should be getting power. 280 FE per tick. This thing is cooking up some serious power. It is really, really going. <laughs> That's something great. Okay, uh, next I think what I'm gonna do is move this system here into that other room for now as we build the reactor. But at least now this thing will stop shutting off at night and that will be super helpful because it keeps shutting off and driving me absolutely crazy. I wonder if I can put this on top of here. Can I do that? Huh. And then can I put this guy here? And just, you know, throw this. Oh wait, how does that work? Yeah. Okay. One of these. Two of these. And one of these. Is that doing it? it? Sure is. Wow, I didn't even need those cables in the first place. That's kind of funny. You know what I should do is give these solar panels to Etz. He might be able to make use of them. And since we're going over to Etz Mines, we might as well take care of a little problem that we've been having. You see, Etz Mine has played a couple of little minor pranks on us, and we need to get him back. So Etz Mine built this actually really cool house. And, uh, you know what? We are gonna have to, we're gonna have to do some stuff to it. Alright, so the first step is we're gonna go ahead and just take this chest and put it in his area here. I don't know where the best place to put it would be. Maybe, like, right here. And then we'll just put these, uh, solar panels that I don't need anymore in here. I actually don't need these energy cables or the spirited ones. We'll just give him those two and these lenses of Ender. I don't really need, so that'll be good. Yeah, we're also going to go ahead and place a pot right there. Just, you know, to get things started. You know, to get things started a little bit. And we'll put a pot right there. And because these are what he put in my house, so I think it's only fair to, you know, place pots around in his house. Because how annoying. Okay, so if we put the, if we put one, like, right there, that'll be kind of funny. <laughs> okay, and then now the question is, where are we going to put the piece de resistance? The piece de resistance. You know what else we're, we're going to do? We're going to put one of these pots underwater in here. <laughs> That's stupid. Okay. Um, how are we going to, where are we going to hide this thing? And look, my crystals have... Sprouted? Energized? Something. Whatever crystals do, they did it. Wow, that happened fast. These, for some reason, grew in a darn hurry. Okay, this is what these reactors look like, just to give you an idea. So it's one, two, three, four blocks tall, and three wide, three by three on a square. That's what the whole reactor looks like. And it's got some stuff in it that we'll talk about later. But that's what I'm trying to build. This is a niotic one. So it's the blue one. I want to build the red one, the big, the big kahuna. So that's not even as big as the one or powerful as the one that I want to build. Okay, I have hooked up Granny's sink to our thermal generator by using this little pipe. No, I do not want to talk about how I made the pipe. I, I just don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it was so hard to make this stupid little pipe. <laughs> Suffice it to say that now we have basically infinite water. Uh, flowing into this thing, and so everything is working great. And not only that, but my dense energy cell is now powering up 
which I don't understand why that's happening all of a sudden, but I'm glad for it because I was worried that that thing was not working. So actually next what we're gonna start doing is making the reactor. The first thing that we need is four pieces of uranite. Uh, it looks like each one of these raw uranite is giving me two uranite, uranites. I don't know how to say that. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm gonna need nine of these, so I need at least 18 uranites. No, nine times four is 36. So I'm gonna need 36 uranites. Okay, we now have 36 uh, starter reactor blocks. So next is upgrading to level two, which is, okay, we've upgraded everything to the basic level. Okay, using some blazing capacitors, we or some hardened capacitors, we now have the hardened level. Now we are at blazing. Okay, we've hit our first resource. Um, basically, I've run out of redstone to make the capacitors. So all of these uh, reactors, when you craft them, they require the capacitor of that type. And in order to craft the capacitor of that type, you have to have the crystal of that type plus these... Uh, Dielectric paste, which is pretty easy to make, and these capacitors that are large, which require basic capacitors, which are made from iron ingots and a block of redstone and these dielectric paste. So we are out of the redstone is what we're out of. It uses blocks of them to make the capacitors. So I've gone through quite a bit of redstone, but fortunately redstone's relatively easy to mine. So what we're gonna do is go mining. Okay, so after that little mining session, I got 1.2 thousand redstone dust, 63 diamonds, and a bunch of other stuff. How did I mine it so fast? It's this Ultimine thing on my pickaxe. Or the, I guess it's just like a mod. It makes it really fast to like mine. Oh, I also got 197 dry ice. That's gonna come in handy later. Okay, at long last, we now have 36 Niotic reactor blocks. It took quite a bit of diamonds. I had to make quite a few more of these niotic crystals. So I think when I go for the spirited stuff, uh, we're going to have to get some serious emeralds going from the villagers. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have made 63 of the reactors, the, uh, the spirited ones, and we are ready to make the nitro reactor. Something else I did is I prepared this room a little bit. I changed it around. I made it one block wider that way, and I also sunk the floor down here because our reactor is going to be four blocks tall, and the room was actually too short to fit the reactor and make it look good. So we're going to put the reactor right here on these middle blocks in the center, of course, because middle blocks are usually in the center. First, we need to make uh, these nitro capacitors. I made up a bunch of spirited crystals, so those are ready. I actually have eight of the nitros already done. We're getting closer. We have them. 36 nitro reactor blocks. Are you guys ready for this? I'm ready for this. Here we go. Plop. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> That's super cool. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> that looks awesome. <laughs> All right. So there's a few things that it needs now. What we have to do is put... Uh, we need water into it, and we also need to put in dry ice, which goes in there. And we're also going to need to put in, uh, I believe it's redstone and coal into this. To It's like reactor catalysts or something. Um yeah. So how are we going to do that? I would really love to use the create mod stuff to put the water into this thing because I think it looks cooler. Like this sink and this little derpy deal here look kind of, well, derpy. So, uh, yeah. But for now, we're going to do that until we get create going. And then I think what I'll do is I'll swap out the create um, stuff for this stupid looking sink. I don't know if there's a place where you're supposed to put this stuff or not. So, yeah. Really don't know. Okay. Oh, I need that stupid wrench. 
Okay. Evidently, the answer is you can put stuff in wherever. So, because uh, now we have water, we have the dry ice, and then I believe we can just go ahead and put the uranite in the middle, and it powers that son of a gun right up. Look at that. We now have a nitro reactor that is working. Okay, now it's all hooked in to our network. So I actually took a power cable out of the bottom of this thing. I think that might actually be the way to go is to put things in the bottom of it. That might actually make it look a little bit cooler. So we have the cable coming out, uh, coming over here and just coming over here and then up here into our system. And what I think I might do actually is take this sink this granny sink thing and put it in the bottom. I went ahead and moved granny sink downstairs. I also cleaned up that power cable a little bit. So it runs along the bottom of this wall now. So it's gonna be a little bit easier to hide it. I might eventually turn this into ME cable, but for now we're going to leave it as such. Um, I set up the little orb thingy here with like a little cable running down there temporarily so that I can continue to make the uranite because the uranite that requires that the reactor requires um i have to basically energize it from raw uranite i think that this looks a lot better at least up from the top uh to have these things pointed into the bottom of the reactor and then we just have this nice clean box humming away silently in this kind of cool room anyway that's all we have time for in this here episode. I really appreciate you guys all watching and checking out my new series and whatnot. Anyway, I hope that you're having an amazing, awesome, beautiful, fantastic, stupendous, amazing... I said amazing already, right? Yeah. Day. <laughs> and God bless.